What's up guys? It's me, Sir Ernest, and today we're going to solve problem 7.31 of Griffith's 4th edition. The problem reads, Suppose the circuit in figure 7.41 has been connected for a long time, when suddenly, at time t equal to 0, the switch S is thrown from A to B, bypassing the battery. Now, Letter A, what's the current at any subsequent time t? So that means we're looking for the current, uh, the function of the current as a function of time. Letter B, what's the total energy del delivered to the resistor? Okay, so that means we have to take the time derivative of the, uh, to, of the, of the stored energy and then we equate that to joule heating and then we're going to calculate the total energy delivered. And let us see what is the total, what is this? I showed that this is equal to the energy originally stored in the inductor. Okay, so let's analyze first our problem. So as mentioned here that this is the current connection of the circuit. So at this point, okay, as we learned previously for an RL circuit or LR circuit, that a series connection between L, R, and your battery EMF or EMF with uh, EMF of the battery, this one, okay? So this is actually a charge, uh, this actually charges in a, in a sense the, the inductor, okay? So energy is being stored to the inductor. And because it's very long time, so that means the time at which this switch has been has been a place to position B. So that means this inductor has stored uh, has, has stored its maximum energy that it can that it can store. Okay, so once the switch is uh, is is thrown from A to B, so that means the energy that is stored in the inductor, okay, will now be delivered to the resistor. Okay, so when this switch is closed here, so that means current will flow in this direction. Okay, so this is a single loop circuit and by Kirchhoff's rules, the, the total potential in that loop will now be equal to the uh, EMF delivered to the resistor minus the EMF stored in the battery, uh, stored in the inductor. By Ohm's law, ER would be IR, where in I is the current flowing through the circuit, and R is the resistance of the resistor. And then EL would be the induced EMF on the inductor, which is negative, L times derivative of I with respect to time. So this is, should be positive. And by Kirchhoff's rules, this should be equal to zero okay so that means this is now equal to this is can now be written as derivative of i with respect to time and this is equal to r over l times i okay so solving this differential equation we now have the integral of di over i and this is equal to integral of negative r over l dt. So the integration for time is 0 to a certain time t. And then we want to look the current at that time from the initial current. And that is 0. Oh, sorry, that would be I0. That's the initial current that is flowing to the door. Uh, when this then the switch is at position A. Okay. 
So solving this differential equation, we now have i as a function of time. This is very easy. You can do this at home. I can do this very, uh, very easily. So the current as a function of time will now be equal to i naught. So that's the original current times e to the negative r t over l. And this original current is the current when the battery is still connected. So this is now equal to E naught over R times E to the negative RT over M. So this is the current at any subsequent time T. Okay, so here we use the we use Ohm's law to express I naught uh, because the current that flows through the circuit will still be the same. It only changes once the switch is uh, thrown from A to B. Okay, now letter B is we want to compute for the delivered resistor, uh, a total energy delivered to the resistor. Joule heating is the energy, is the power uh, or the energy spent by the resistor per unit time. So this is essentially the uh, total energy delivered to the resistor per unit time. And this is equal to your power. And Julie heating says that this is equal to I squared R. So therefore, I, which is equal to this, would be expressed as E over R times E to the negative R T over L. Then we square this. So as you will notice that the power will now be a function of time. And then we multiply it with, with R. Simplifying this, this gives us E naught uh, e not squared over R times E to the negative 2RT over L. So you will know that this is a function of time. So therefore, the total energy delivered would be equal to the integral of e squared e naught squared over r e to the negative 2 rt over l dt now what is the uh, limits of integration because we're looking for the total energy delivered to the resistor so that means uh, we want to start with time equal to zero and then up to what infinity because we want to cover for all times. Okay? So this will now be equal to epsilon naught uh, E naught squared over R. Then integral of this will be negative uh, L over 2R times E to the negative 2RT over L evaluated from 0 to infinity. When time is at infinity, that's 0. This is 0 because that's e to the negative infinity 0. And then at uh, time equal to 0, e to, the neg e, t e to the 0 will be 1. So this is negative 1. So this is negative 1 times this will now be equal to uh, Epsilon uh, E naught squared times L over 2 R squared. So this is the total energy delivered to the resistor. Now, let's check or let's show that this is equal to the original, uh, originally stored energy in the inductor. Okay. So, the original energy stored in the inductor omega naught will be equal to 1 half times the inductance L times the original current squared. Okay. But we know that the original current here will just be equal to E naught over R. 
So therefore, this is equal to 1 half L times E naught over R squared. Over R squared. Which is exactly this one. So remember, we could rewrite this as 1 half L times E naught over R squared. Okay? So this shows that the uh, energy delivered to the resistor will be completely come from the energy stored in the inductor. Of course, if we want to go, if we want to consider all times from the point that the switch has been thrown from A to B to infinity. Okay? So that's it. That uh, solves problem 7.31 using the concept of energy in magnetic fields. I hope you learned something today and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.